first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. The Hornets come in off a critical game one win and are now poised and prepared as they attempt to take a 2-0 lead against the Cavaliers. Round one of the NBA playoffs continues. Wow. All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to this My NBA Career Game 1 against the Cleveland Cavaliers went perfectly as we won by 22 points. Held Donovan Mitchell to 7 for 25 shooting, 4 for 18, and held Darius Garland to 3 for 14 shooting. Went perfectly. I had a struggle of a game. Uh, I did have 37 points, but I shot 11 of 30 from the field. I was 4 for 14 at one point. Uh, but I did shoot 10 free throws, and LaMelo Ball also shot 11, so that was 21 free throws between us we had 31 as a team while the Cavs only had four and that is the main reason why we won this game so game two might be a little bit different because I don't think we're gonna have a 31 free throw 29 for 31 free throws is insane uh Lamella had a great game uh Aiden had a fantastic game Rozier played well off the bench so did Nick Richards as the starter yes I have Nick Richards starting at center and Aiden starting at power forward to try and balance against this big lineup of the Cleveland Cavaliers with Evan Mobley and Jarrett Allen and last episode, I did say I'd up the sliders for the CPU. I'm not touching the user sliders. This is what the user sliders look like. Uh, this is usually what Hall of Fame looks like besides three-point success. Uh, but these are my sliders. These aren't getting touched. I'm keeping these as is because I feel like they're pretty well. I am going to up the CPU sliders by probably three. I'm going to up them all to 68. Uh, Mid-range success, I'll up to 64. I'll up this to 62. Actually, I'm not going to touch three-point success. Because I had an issue where when I was up to like 65, they wouldn't miss a three. It greened every single time. But everything else is going to be the same. Usually, the ones I will touch are these top ones that involve shooting wise. So, 68 inch shot success, 68 close shot success, and 64 mid range success. Should be good. They should be able to hit shots. And if you don't know, uh, in the offseason, there will be two expansion teams. And that will be, can I see that? It will be the Seattle Sonics and the Kansas and the Kansas City Scouts. Those two teams will be coming into the league next season. And I'm telling you this right now, these Sonics uniforms in court are gorgeous. Gorgeous. But we have one thing to worry about, and that is the Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, always simulate these games. And the Heat won game one. Kings won game one. So all the higher seeds won game one besides the Cavs. And the Kings. I mean, in the Mavericks. So, let's see if we can take a 2-0 lead, which would be massive against this really good Cavs team. Here we are, game two of this Eastern Conference first round against the 52-30 Cleveland Cavaliers. Looking to take a 2-0 series lead against them. And I think it's possible, all right? I think it's possible we could beat this team mainly due to our top three players in DeAndre Ayton. Cedric Lewis and LaMelo Ball. I think those three together is enough, especially if we continue to play great defense on Donovan Mitchell and Darius Garland. That's going to be the big difference maker. Keeping those two in check, we can win this series. We did a game one. Let's hope we can do it in game two as I try to get that steal there. Donovan Mitchell straight to the rack. That's getting blocked by Cedric Lewis. What a block to start off game two. That deserves a replay. Look at that. Getting up in the air for that SWAT. That was beautiful. This is green for LaMelo. And I'm starting it off two for two from the field. Knocking down the three. All five points for the Hornets. Go to Cedric Lewis. I need to dig in. Get that playoff Cedric going. Just like Jimmy Butler. And if you think about it. Cedric's kind of like a Jimmy Butler build. As Donovan Mitchell hits a tough shot. More of a Jimmy Butler build that can shoot. And that's kind of what I was going for a little bit. Uh, but if you see me looking to the right or anything, it is because I am watching the Warriors game. That's a bad release. I'm watching the Warriors-Kings game, like usual, uh, around this time when I record the Warriors game is on. Heat are up 1-0 on the Bucks. They won game one. It, they love to see it. Will we win the series? No, because Tyler Hero's out. So, that's awesome. But we won game one. Not something I didn't expect to happen. And if you guys want to know my playoff predictions for this year, I will leave the link in the description for my playoff prediction video it performed fantastic i would recommend you guys go watch it uh and i recommend yuda watanabe knock down this three which he does not fast break and so far in this game the defense has been working to our favor that that's a great that's great defense by donovan mitchell i gotta reset here 
reset. Nick Richards comes up and it's green. But yeah, I mean, we're one of the best defensive teams in the league. That could be green if it go. It wasn't green, but it still went. Oh, I got a steal on the break, and I'm fast enough. What a dunk from Cedric Lewis. Extends the lead back to seven. He's got 11 out of the 13 points for Charlotte. Uh, we have a 10-point lead, 25-15, start of the second quarter, and it's the same story as game one. The bench extends the lead. We're up by 11 now. Aiton's got eight points so far in this game. I don't know who else has helped with the scoring, but I mean, I do have 22 out of 53 points for the Charlotte Hornets. They're going to run a double screen here. I'm right there. Tried to get the steal there. I'm right there. I know how to switch, and I get the steal. Throw it down. Cedric. The Hornets are just picking apart this Cavalier offense. And Alexander Walker, another miss, and that's going to be it for the first half. 55 to 35 is the score at halftime. Bro, Donovan cannot buy a shot right now wide open most of the time too like he's getting open and he just can't buy one lamella ball in the paint that's an easy dunk what is going on with the cleveland cavaliers wide open for three that's good cedric lewis stays perfect from downtown he's three for three all right you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna up the sliders right now and see if that makes a difference i'm gonna upgrade them to 72 and mid-range will go to 68 three-point success i'm gonna leave that as is because they are hitting some threes not enough clearly layup success will up to 65 i, I should have upgraded that everything else we gonna keep the same let's see if they start making shots now oh yeah dre lyles i didn't even touch the three-point shot but he knocks one down from long range immediately but they're leaving the paint kind of wide open and cedric lewis can't be stopped all right, I'm getting subbed out, and uh, yeah, the the slider changes work because they've hit a lot of shots in a row, including a contested and one. It's down to 20. Uh, clearly, they haven't had too much success, but it's definitely been working. Pass that, Lamelo. Why would you pass that back, dude? Why are you? Why do they do that, man? Why do they run back? Right, and that's gonna be a foul on Terry Rozier. That's his fourth. No, oh, that they're gonna they're gonna screw me out of that. They're gonna screw me out of that. Why do they do that? Why? I had even after the contest, it was still in the green. It was still in the green after the contest. Look at where I'm shooting it. Look at when I'm shooting it. It was still in the green and they changed my shot. That's so even when it I don't understand. Hey, and I need you to move, dude! What are you doing? Now they're double teaming me. Bro, why? Move! What are you doing? What a block by Eddie. Zach Eddie, I believe is his name. The 73 overall, 7-4 center with the block on Jared Allen. They brought Don Venture back in the game. They decided to sub him out for a few seconds. Fair enough. You need a little breather. Ah, oh, I thought that was going to Donovan Mitchell, and that's going to be a bucket from Darius Garland. And as you can see, the, the sliders are working for the Cavaliers, without a doubt. They're hitting their shots now. Lamelo, kick it back to me. And I hit bad release, but it's still good. Oh, it's a mid-range. That's why it went. I was about to say, that's that's 2K. That's 2K. Feeling bad for that bogus Evan Mobley contest that still should have went in after it was contested. It's the badges. It's the badges. What a block by Aiton. Um, to, off to the races. Mobley should not be faster than me, and he's not. 41 points for Cedric Lewis. What a bounce back game after game one shooting wise. Still had 37 points. But also, I forgot to mention that Serenity 2K has uh, playoff stats. Like, I could put in my playoff stats. Did not know that. So, next episode will be the first episode. You see it, but I haven't put them in at the end of the game. Uh, LaMelo, what are we doing? Throwing up a, a terrible lob in traffic instead of passing it to me. Okay. And with nine and a half seconds left, we are going to take a game two victory over the third seed of Cleveland Cavaliers. 22 points. They're not going to take a shot here. No, they're not. 105 to 83 is your final score. The Hornets take a 2 0 lead heading back to Charlotte. But with that slider change, game three is going to be a whole lot more difficult if it's like the second half of this game. Final box score. The defense came into full effect. Donovan Mitchell once again held to 18 points. 
this time. Still, I believe, I believe he was 7 of 20 the last game, was he not? He was 7 of 25 last game. Held a 7 of 20 and 2 for 11 from 3. Garland started to get it going in the second half, but he still shot 6 of 15. Jared Allen had a great game, and apparently he hit a 3. Not even going to entertain that. Evan Mobley, just stat stuffing. He only had 11 points with 12 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals, and 3 blocks. That's crazy. They they just don't get help from their uh, secondary players, their second unit. They need help from them. And what a game for Cedric Lewis. 43 points, 8 rebounds, 12 assists, and notching 4 steals in a block. I did have 6 turnovers, but I want to say like 4 of those were in the 3rd quarter. And they were just bogus 2K animations. You set a pick and roll, and they roll to the 3 point line for some reason. But 15 of 26 from the field, way better than that 11 of 30 stat line. And 3 of 4 from 3, now shooting 41%. I'm only shooting 36%. Actually, no, that's not updated. Never mind, I lied. Still, 10 of 10. So I am 20 of 20 in the playoffs from the free throw line. Lamella Ball could not buy a shot. But if you look at his stats, good. 22, 8, and 7. But 8 for 21, 3 for 11. Not gonna cut it. 8 and at 10 and 14 with 5 assists. You can't ask for more from him. And our second unit, secondary players, I guess did okay. Uh, Nick Richards came back to earth with a 6-9 and nine game. Did not miss a shot, though. Uh, but if we go to team comparison, you can see shot 10 of 31 from 3. Not great, but they shot 7 of 35. And we only shot 13 free throws. They also only shot 13 free throws. So like I said, we're not going to have that game 1, 31 free throws to like 4 free throws every game. It's not going to happen. It was their... 12, oh, we both had 12 turnovers, but we had 15 points off of their turnovers, and we just dominated the rebounding. Anyways, that's going to be it for me. GG.